we all have at least one thing about our bodies that make us very self-conscious, whether it's wrinkles or, you know, your size or little things like bad breath or sweating. I am a big sweater. It's totally embarrassing. Um, and, you know, I have a lot of friends that have adult acne. They get very embarrassed by that. So here to show us some of the new treatments for some of our embarrassing little body issues is our good pal. He's back, Dr. Anthony Yoon. Thank you. I trust whatever he says, because look at him. He looks 12 years old. He looks great. He's all glowy. So we're going to walk through uh, four different things. Uh, we're yeah. going to help two viewers in this act, and then we're going to have time to do two more. But exactly. where are we going to start? Well, we're going to start today with a problem that a lot of people have, and it's skin tags, OK? Now, skin tags themselves are basically just harmless pieces of skin that stick out. And we typically develop it in areas where our skin rubs together, mm -hmm. so our neck, uh, our armpits, our groin areas underneath the breasts. Now, skin tags, even though they're not dangerous, that's the number one thing to remember. They're not cancerous. They're not going to turn into anything that's dangerous. But they do catch on clothing. Some people find that when they're shaving, they may nick it, and it can bleed. They bleed quite a bit. Wow. Um, because of that, people are having these excised and removed. And this is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. How Hello. are you? So, Debbie, do you have an issue with skin tags? Yes, I do. I have skin tags on my neck. And yeah. they catch in my clothing. So it's just an, it's it's an annoyance. Yes. Yeah. So what, what is the, so, the, the treatment we're going to do? So there are at? two things you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, if your dermatologist or your family doc has diagnosed that they are skin tags, they're not a dangerous mole. Can I ask you, what's the difference between a mole and a skin tag? So a mole is actually a collection of pigment. And pigment uh. can, it, in times, be dangerous. They can become melanoma, that type of thing. A skin tag literally is just a fold of skin. So a lot of times, there's not even any pigment to it. So if you want to take care of a skin tag at home, and it is a definitely a skin tag, you can do something very simple and take some dental floss. And if you take a little piece of dental floss and you wrap it around that skin tag and tie a knot around it, Ow. you give it a couple of weeks, and that will Have fall Have you ever off. caught a little piece of your skin? Doesn't yes. it, it hurts, it hurts, doesn't it? And it bleeds. It hurts and it bleeds. Yes. So that's not, not that's, so that's not one way. Yeah. That won't bleed if you do that. But so that's one way. But today we're going to do the instant treatment, okay. and we're actually going to cut the skin tags off her neck right now. Oh, baby. Here, I'm coming. You can hold my hand. Here. All right. Now, as you can see, her neck, uh, let's have you lean back a little bit, if you don't mind. Lean back so you can see the As you can see, her neck problem. looks a little bit pale. Right. And that, pale is, that paleness is from the medication. I actually injected some medication into her that will numb the oh, area Oh, I see, up. where the skin is yeah, lighter color. That? So you've been numbed already, so it's not going to hurt. Right. Not so going to hurt. Not going to hurt. Yeah, shouldn't feel a thing. If you do, <laughs> just, just let me know, OK? okay. I'm totally here for you. I just can't watch. <laughs> a little gauze to soak up any blood here. So literally, all you have to do is we pull it right out and just okay. snip it. We're good. Pull it right out. You're doing out okay. And we Are you okay? I'm okay. Up. She's okay. She's okay. okay. So you can just keep cutting these off, and it's literally just like whittling away. It looks away. like it should hurt, but it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't feel a thing. And it's not bleeding at all. Now, <clears throat> once you cut these off, will that oh, solve the problem, or do they tend to grow back? Uh, in general, they can grow back as long as you uh, kind of monitor it once again and go to your dermatologist or your family doc. Usually, they don't become an issue afterwards. Yeah, so not bad. He got like 90% of it. Oh. More than that, 95. Oh. It's great. Maybe just let her hold the gauze there a little bit, but they're totally... You totally see, gone. Yeah, so all the ones that are really sticking out, I've removed. She has a couple little ones here we can take off maybe after the segment. Okay. Come on back to the dressing room. I'll take the rest okay. of them off for you. Thank you. It's great. You're going to love it. Thank it's you. great. Good job, So Doc. a little Thank pressure you. right here, okay? A little right. bit of pressure there. Honestly, the injection to make sure there was no pain is the only thing I see a spot from, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this yeah, is really of those pretty easy. Most bleed. Yeah, just and, gone. Yeah, and once again, you can either do it by a doctor, have a doctor do that, or, you or can try it with if a you've got floss. a pretty big one, as long as you know it's not an actual mole or something that could be dangerous, you get a little dental floss, you tie it around it. Will that cauterize it, though? Will the dental floss the No, it's like a tourniquet. And so you cut off blood supply, and it just will shrivel up and fall off after wow. a week or two. No kidding. Yeah, kind of nice. Oh, so you're not yanking it off. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's what I no, thought you like meant. not like a tooth you're pulling, you know. <laughs> that's no. what I thought you meant. Oh, no. Didn't you think that? <laughs> we all thought that. I did, too. So you're just tying yeah, it off. Yeah, so it's like a tourniquet. Any, I... any growth, technically, you now tie a string around it, it'll fall off. Okay, Nicole, right? Thank you. Okay, so what are we going to be helping Nicole with? So Nicole's issue is acne. Now, 80% really? of Really? Yes. 80 I don't think I blemish on you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so my 80, face and neck and back. 80% of people okay. from 11 to 30 have 
facial acne. And of those people, 23, 20, or two thirds actually, 66% have acne of the back or back knee. Okay, we can also have acne of other parts of our body. Um, acne of the chest, we can wow. call it chest knee. Acne of the buttocks, Oh, that would be a bad one. No, that's no good. And it's that's because, no bueno. It's because the pores of other parts of our body are actually bigger. They're hard to clear out, hard to clean. So you have a much higher risk of cystic acne when you have acne of other parts of the body. The only place in your body that's not prone to acne, the palms and the bottoms of your feet. And the bottom of your feet, of your feet right? Exactly. Right. So uh, what are we going to be doing? Honestly, I think you look beautiful. Oh, your skin looks you. great. So how are we going to be helping her? So we're going to use the newest acne treatment today. And this is called the Tandazap. Come on over. And Let me get is on a, the other side so I can see. This is a very interesting treatment. Um, it's actually a home laser device. And so acne itself, it has multiple reasons why you get it. You know, the main thing, obviously, is you can have a clogged pore. But there are other factors involved, too. You can get bacteria that actually builds up in these clogged right. pores, and this bacteria then can create inflammation and result in a pimple. So the Tandazap utilizes three main things. Number one, it utilizes a blue light. And blue light has been shown to actually kill the bacteria that can cause pimples. How weird. So you combine that with... It has a gentle massaging agent too, and we've got an animation here where you can see. Look at that. The blue light's killing the bacteria, but it also has sonic vibration to break the bacteria up so more of it gets uh, exposed to the blue light. And also has a gentle warmth as well to affect it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the device on right now. And you're gonna see there's a blue light here. And I'm gonna apply it right now, on to one of her areas. how long would she areas. have to apply that light to each area of uh, It's uh, about two minutes. Yeah, so, so two minutes per patch. Exactly. Right. So the best time to use a Tandazap is literally about right when you start noticing, hey, I think I feel a pimple coming on. Gotcha. You do it two to three times a day, and many people find that within about 23, 24 hours, that pimple is gone. Wow, within a day. Exactly. Now, we've got uh, some before and after photos to take a look at here because we're not going to see, obviously, a pimple disappear that quickly on her right now. And you can see there, the one by the nose, oh, cleared wow. up. That's within 24 hours. That's within 24 hours. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And there's some other ones. How does that feel? Uh, it just looks slightly warm, but I barely feel it. Once again, two to three times a day. You can buy this online for $49. Wow, it's not even for 50 bucks. That's fantastic. For a laser. Not bad. So that's not a bad price no, to pay, no, right? I'm on it. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. Dr. Yoon's going to stick around. We're going to help two more of our viewers right after this.